Uh, hello everyone out there. Um, I'm just making a little video here in response to some recent uh, reporting uh, by Paul Joseph Watson at Infowars.com. Seismometer, seism, seismeter station rules out earthquakes as cause of Clintonville booms. Uh, data cr uh, contradicts official explanation for mysterious sounds. Uh, so, you know, this is probably the best article I've seen to date uh, since the, the beginning of all of this uh, shaking up there in Clintonville, Wisconsin. Um, as a resident of the state of Wisconsin, I've been following this issue since uh, the first day before they even recorded an earthquake up there in Clintonville. Uh, I just wanted to tie some information together for all of you guys out there who are uh, continuing to follow this story. And, uh, you know, thanks again to InfoWars for putting together this piece here. Um, but uh, through my extensive research, I've found several documents, uh, starting with uh, the Common Cause Holding Power Accountable uh, document that was released in, on November 10th, 2011. This is by James Browning and Alex Kaplan. Uh, if you search these terms, you will certainly find uh, deep drilling, deep pockets in Congress. This is a 22-page document that was released, uh, put out in Washington, D.C. It's a grassroots at commoncause.org. Uh, this information goes through extensive research on fracking money in politics, campaign contributions, lobbying expenses, Expenditures, expenditures uh, independent political expenditures, regulation, failure to regulate, uh, can the natural gas industry regulate itself, regulations in the states. Uh, you know, this, this information is something that I think everybody should take a look at because it does actually go through at the very bottom um, some charts, uh, you know, very extensively the amount of money talks about how, uh, you know, who is in favor of these new fracking bills, uh, you know, in a, in a list here by representative and by senate. Um, but moving on uh, to uh, the actual fracking uh, map and information that we have here in Wisconsin, um, this is a January uh, 2012 from Wisconsin Trout, which is news and views in Wisconsin on, from Trout Unlimited. Uh, this is fracking sand mining ignites western Wisconsin. Um, and this is by John Duke Welter. Uh, this article has the exact same map that a lot of people have been circulating showing the active fracking locations, the one that is, uh, looks right about uh, south of Clintonville near New London, Wisconsin. Uh, but also if you've been following the story that came out of Montello, 75 miles south of Clintonville, there is also a fracking location uh, it's somewhere in the general vicinity of that area as well. Uh, so, you know, I think this one, if you keep looking around, you're going to find a lot more information than, than what people are giving credit for on this specific issue. Um, so, uh, getting back to that map, that was from Kate Golden, the Wisconsin Center for Investigative Journalism. Also researched by Jason Smathers and Julie Strupp. Um, and you can look those uh, people up on their organization websites. Um, there's plenty of information talking about the 180 page bill that was introduced on December 8th and a single Milwaukee area hearing was held that followed Wednesday. Special sub, uh, Senate Committee on Mining has yet to release their bill at this time of publishing, but we can we can expect them to draft the bill based on the assembly version over the holidays. So, you know, what can we do as people who value our natural resources? We are charged to educate others about the radical proposals. If we want to continue sharing and creating new memories on the beautiful waterways in Wisconsin, it is essential. Lands like the Pinot Hills that many cherish will be sacred forever. Contact your legislators. No matter how indifferent you think that your legislators may be, you should contact them. Everyone's voice counts, and, though collect and through collective action, we can keep Wisconsin's air, water, and land beautiful for future generations to enjoy. Attend a public hearing or hold an, in, an, an in-district meeting with your legislator and your local chapter. Invite Wisconsin League of Conservation uh, voters organizations to present uh, at your meeting and uh, meetings for all conservation groups that you know. Encourage your local chapters to write a resolution opposing rollbacks to environmental protections. Share your connections to the land with others and your decision makers. Together we can protect our natural resources. Do not hesitate to contact anybody here with your questions or concerns. Uh, you know, the fingers are really being beginning to fall and uh, point, uh, points are being blamed as to why this continues to occur. There's a lot of residents up there, including my family, uh, you know, that I was, you know, born and raised up there in Appleton, Wisconsin, uh, you know, within about an hour's drive of Clintonville. So, you know, you're going to have to just kind of, you know, 
consider this information as a collective thought here. It's not just, uh, you know, what my opinion at this point, but, uh, you know, when you've got five isolated incidences, uh, you know, they're going to claim that it's an earthquake, of course, but it's, you know, something is causing an earthquake. That This, this kind of uh, suspicion really falls to blame, uh, and, uh, you know, we can look to the most recent uh, information that came out at the beginning of March here, uh, Ohio fracking waste tied to the earthquakes, and this is by Julie Carr Smith, Associated Press. Um, so, you know, I've got quite a bit of information uh, coming out of the Department of Natural Resources here, talking about in, uh, involving hydroflacking, uh, fracking, uh, injecting gas uh, into and, and water into the earth. Um, but it needs to be disposed of, and when the companies are done with it, and municipal water treatment plants aren't designed to remove some of these contaminants. So, uh, you know, with radium 226 uh, radioactive elements, a common practice is just to reinject it into the ground, and it is banned in some states. So, you know, this is serious information. Um, you know, you should really look up this 11 uh, mysterious earthquakes in Ohio that was just recently linked to fracking. Uh, you know, I hate to point fingers, but at this point in time, it doesn't look like any of our uh, mainstream media uh, news coverage in, in that region uh, or Lisa Cost, the city administrator, are really uh, taking this, this fracking idea seriously, which makes me start to question that they may have uh, alternative motives here uh, as far as uh, maybe being paid uh, millions of dollars. Now you can look to the, uh, the the money I talked about in deep drilling as well as Obama ties um, that also have come out um, and there's just an extensive amount of videos on YouTube. I really encourage you to look up Fracking Hell, the untold story which is put out um, by, by uh, you know, a uh, Click TV, I believe. Um, then you've got 60 Minutes reports. Halliburton is a major fracking leader. Wisconsin residents concerned over sand mining. Um, you know, uh, and then just at the beginning of this year, January uh, 25th, uh, Obama pushes natural gas fracking to create 600,000 jobs. Um, so just because you're not seeing any permits, um, you know, with Paul Joseph Watson finally confirming that uh, the earthquakes aren't the, the ultimate cause of this, uh, I can pick up where that left off, and it's got. To be fracking so if we can get some recordings I actually do have the sound recording as well um, but you know this is a lot of information for right now I'm gonna leave it at that and see if I can put together more comprehensive uh, research for you guys at a better time all right well thank you